Today we're going to talk about how to do one technique, uh, which is creating high contrast for either an image transfer or a stencil. If I was going to do a picture of myself as a stencil, here's what I would want to do. I'd want to open up a Word document, go into page layout and make my margins custom at 0.25 because the size of our canvas is 8 by 10 and in order to fit onto to cover the whole canvas board that we're using, we need to make these margins at quarter of an inch. We move the spacing down to zero and now I may insert my, the picture that I'm going to use. I go, I saved it onto my desktop and I titled it Selfie, let's go and find it. And right here, this is my school picture from last year. I want to view one page so that I can see the whole thing that I'm working with. If I wanted to take up more space than this, I need to crop off the edges and fill in the page with just my face if I wanted my face to take up the entire 8 by 10 surface. I right click on the image and I go down to format picture. Come up to the little mountains here and let's go to picture color and change the preset into a black and white photo. From there we go into picture corrections, go down to contrast. A little bit of contrast creates a lot of gray tones. A lot of contrast creates a black and white, full black and white image. You can play with the contrast, the brightness a little bit. When you make it brighter, there's more white. When you make it dark, less bright, there's definitely more black. So you need to kind of find the sweet spot where you can still see that it's yourself and still some details. So I think I'm going to leave that as I think brightness should be adjusted probably more right about in there. That's about 50-50 white and black. Go ahead and file save as, save it into the file that you have made for yourself. For our class, we have stored it in our personal numbers into our personal files and I am just going to call this contrast selfie. And there I'm done. If I want to do, another, here's another example. Open a Word document again, and it doesn't have to be your face. It can be any object you want to contrast. So again, I go to page layout, margins, custom margins are at a quarter inch, which is 0.25. And this time, I still change the spacing afterwards to zero, but my picture that I'm going to use is landscape. Now I insert the picture that I saved onto my desktop earlier, and it's called bicycle. One of my favorite parts of summer. So wrap text, make it tight, and I can move it easily around the page. I'm going to crop the image so it does fill up more of the page. If I, it doesn't need to fill up the whole 8 by 12 canvas that we are using. If you want it to, this is the technique you need to do, is keep cropping and, um, cropping and stretching it out from the corners. Now remember, I right click, I go to format the picture, I go to the little mountain picture first, picture color, change it, the preset to black and white. Then I go up to corrections, my contrast increases all the way to 100% and that makes it black and white, that's high contrast. Now I can play with the brightness of it to see exactly how much I want that to show. I think that's too bright. However, if you want it like that, where you wanted to paint in the background, to do something more, add other designs, that's fine. But again, I like a 50-50 mix, and I think that makes the bike look really perfect right there. So I can go ahead and save that, save it as browse my files that I want to save it to. And it's going to be in my art folder, and I'm going to call this one um, Bicycle Contrast. And I'm done, I can print both of those and go grab them. And then I'm done and I'm ready to move on to the next part of what I wanna do with the collage.